and um, what you you ring something and push something. You mean turn on the notification? The bell. It's a notification bell, honey. And turn on the nosy and um, turn, turn, on the nosy. turn on the nosy and Why ring the bell. So nosy? Well, they want to know what you're doing, so they're being nosy. Turn on the nosy and 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 and, and hey, ring the bell. Hey, everybody! You guys, welcome back to my kitchen. It is breakfast time. I don't know whether or not you guys know, but breakfast is my favorite meal of the day. So today we're going to make pancakes from scratch. I mean, ain't your mama who, honey? So we're making pancakes from scratch. Um, and this is the first of many videos that I'm going to do today. So let me forewarn you that today is production day. So you will see this orange tank top. Uh, in several videos because I'm gonna be working it out today okay but first let me show you what I'm going to use to make these wonderful pancakes from scratch and then we're gonna go outside light up the neighborhood honey because we're cooking them on the blackstone griddle with some grits not grits with some bacon and eggs. So I'll be using okay. two cups of all-purpose flour and I've already put that in here in my measuring cup along with the six teaspoons of baking powder um, a fourth a cup of sugar and a teaspoon of salt. So all of that is already in here and I'm getting ready to sift this in just a second. Then we have our two eggs. We have um, one third cup of vegetable oil here and then we have two cups of milk. So we're going to start by sifting this flour or all of the dry ingredients you guys, when I used to fix this recipe for my children, we have four children. When I used to fix this recipe, I used to have to double this recipe. Because we all love pancakes. Now first I just make sure I kind of mixed up the um, salt and baking powder in the mix. All right, I had to, my dude number one was making a phone call and I could hear his big mouth. <laughs> so he had to close his door because he was interrupting my video. It's old school, y'all, we sifting. going to we're going to beat the eggs the milk and the oil together and then we're going to add that to the dry ingredients so I'm just going to dump everything in here so I can mix it together Let's see, two cups of milk Two eggs. to the dry ingredients. And when you're mixing up pancake mix, you do not want to over mix. I know a lot of times people have a tendency to want to get all of the lumps and get the batter totally smooth. You do not want to do that. 
You don't want to over mix your batter. So I'm going to stir and make sure I get everything moist. And now you don't want to see any um, flour that's dry. You want everything moistened, but you do not want to over mix. stirring I'm still seeing some some dry mix okay I think everything is moistened now and if you wanted to do blueberry pancakes or some cinnamon pancakes now will be the time for you to add those ingredients. So we're going to let this rest for a few minutes. You never want to pour your batter as soon as you mix it up. Give it time to rest. And if you let it rest a little bit, you'll notice that it kind of rises a little bit. So now I'm going to go outside and get the black stone heat. Okay, up. you guys, my hair is a griddle and I've already fixed my bacon. I like to do it first and just go and get it get it off the griddle. Look at this crispy bacon. You guys already know my hands have been thoroughly washed. Don't be in the kitchen with nasty hands y'all. That's just nasty. Bacon residue. You guys, this was the main reason why I wanted this griddle to be able to fix breakfast outside. And I also meant to tell you guys, well I forgot to tell you that I also added a tablespoon of vanilla flavoring to my pancake mix as well.
I'm fixing pancakes this morning like all my children getting ready to come eat. Those keep cooking. And I'm gonna take this in the house. Look at them pretty pancakes. <laughs> and you know it's time to flip when you start seeing the little bubbles. Come up starts making the little bubbles. The meat starts kind of opening up or separating or whatever you want to call it. And once I flip them, I like to go and get that butter on the top of them. Look at these pancakes. And I always wait to add my cheese after my eggs have cooked because I like to see the cheese. Seems like when you cook the cheese with the eggs that don't really see the cheese like we want to see it. And you guys, it's breakfast time. I managed to get in here before they started to dig in. All right, you guys, dude number one is here. Dude number two is upstairs doing some work, so he's going to eat later. I said I was fixing pancakes this morning like all four of my children were here. I'm going for the biggest ones on the plate. <laughs> I want the flat jacks. Well, you guys. I got the big three. <laughs> I always enjoy lighting up the neighborhood with the bacon on the grill. I always enjoy eating the laid up bacon on the grill. <laughs> So we're getting ready to eat breakfast at
as always thank you guys so much for watching you guys when I get through with this eating and cleaning up then I've got some more videos to do okay wait a minute y'all wait a minute you, you push something and and um what should you ring something and push something you mean turn on the notification the bell it's a notification bell honey and turn on the nosy and um, turn, turn, on the nosy. turn on the nosy and Why ring the bell. Nosy? Well, they want to know what you're doing, so they're being nosy. Turn on the nosy and, 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 and ring the bell. Thank you guys so much for watching. We already look forward to you joining us again next time. Don't mind him. Okay. We I would appreciate if you subscribe and turn on the notification bell, okay? Bye.